Today's video is sponsored by Factor. Some food combos are like nothing else, and some are so unique they truly divide opinion. Now I'm not talking about the classics, your, your mac and cheese, your burger and ketchup. I mean the crazy marriages of flavors that make people sit up and say, what? I'm not eating that. Well, guess what? I am. This video is all about weird combinations, and it would be remiss of me not to sample these goodies myself. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 unique food combinations you won't believe exist. Now, before I get started with this first one, I do want to introduce you, and in uh, one case, reintroduce you to two of the people that will be working with me today. Um, let's see, first and foremost, this is my friend Brett, uh, some guy who cooks. It is his. Yeah, from YouTube that channel. show, Some Guy Who Cooks. And what have you brought me today? Your fork, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to be using this with a lot of combos. Get in here. Right now? Yes! Okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Ta da! Guys, it's that dude who was once here. I'm alive. What's your name? Really? <laughs> it's Tristan! That's right! So Boo! Boo! What the hell is wrong so, with you? Tristan and Brett are going to be helping me today. Anyway. 25, ramen and peanut butter. Here's one flavor combo I did not see coming. I put peanut butter on toast or on a cracker. I mix it up with jelly sometimes or eat some Reese's Pieces. Always delicious, any Reese's thing is. But with noodles, I have doubts. I noticed this bizarre combination via a recipe from Nikki at Kitchen Sanctuary. The, apparently if you add a tablespoon of peanut butter, it delivers silky and creamy results. So from the land of the rising sun to sun pat, let's let's give it a try. Go for it. Oh, what? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Thank, thank, yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. All right. All right. That's so creamy. It is ramen. It is it is soup, Mike. It tastes like poverty. I know what that's Hang on. like. Like college poverty. Like, like you wanted to make pad thai or with like peanut sauce, and this is all you had. Honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. It really doesn't. I don't taste. Should I add more peanut butter? <laughs> no, it's fine. We have 24 other things. No. It's all Apparently right. not gonna do much. Not bad. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. 24. Cottage cheese and ketchup. Full disclosure. I hate cottage cheese, but I love ketchup. So maybe the taste of the cottage cheese will be obscured. I doubt it. It could be a win. Nope. But even so, this sounds a little too weird. Uh, a fact that's been actually pointed out by Vice, among other sources, is that former President Richard Nixon would eat this for breakfast, which is still not selling it, guys. Oh, brace your taste buds. I am going in. Brett? Oh, nope. nope. Why would being related to... Nixon make it better. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't throw up on my green screen, Mike. I mean it. I do like cottage cheese. Oh. I'm not excited about this one. <laughs> do you want me to take the first dive? No, I, I got it. Okay, no, you got it? I can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Same time. Oh, God. Ah, just, you don't have to get a big bite. Just a small one. Here we go. <laughs> Most people share that sentiment. It's so chunky. Oh god. Oh, no, I swallowed it. We're good. Oh god. With all this talk about food, what better time to mention today's sponsor, Factor. Now. What is Factor, you may be asking yourself. In the most basic terms, delicious food. In more expansive terms, Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Look, I work at both List25 and Enterprise. I go down to Tampa and Disney a lot. I don't always have time to cook as much as I would love to. Factors ready to eat meals are just so convenient and delicious and they make eating better every day easier. No prep, no cleanup, just heat and eat. That's it, two minutes. 
Well, I, I mean, it'll take longer than that to eat, but I'm, I'm talking prep time here. You knew that. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. I mean, look at some of these options. We've got turkey chili with zucchini and ancho lime crema. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, it's upside down. Creamy tomato pork chop with sauteed spinach and garlic chive cauliflower. No, oh, they're upside down again. Jalapeno lime cheddar chicken with spicy cilantro cauliflower, cauliflower rice. I'm very excited, I'm so sorry. And garlic and herb roasted mushrooms with olive oil, mashed potatoes, roasted green beans, and tomatoes. Now, y'all know I used to be Fat Mike, but I lost 100 pounds. And, and if you don't know that, just watch some of our old videos. Now, I'll admit, I've gained some of it back sitting behind a desk all day in Enterprise, but Factor makes it so easy to keep to a routine and get my weight back down. No more going to the vending machine or ordering delivery when I get hungry at work. Don't judge me. I told you I have no time to prep. I mean, look at this. Once again, this entire meal, this is only 370 calories. And I've done the math. The factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code LIST2550 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors. We've got, what do we got? Spinach, kale, celery, lemon, E3 Live. We have apple, ginger, lemon, and cayenne. And I gotta find the third one. Lemon, apple, ginger, honey, turmeric, black pepper. All of this for every order while you are an active subscriber. So sign up now. 23, honey and fries. This is allegedly a tasty combination of salty and sweet. And I'll let you in on a little secret. It isn't the weirdest thing you can put on french fries. We'll be dropping that flavor bomb on you a little later. Oh, fantastic. For now, it's time for this bad boy. Honey and potatoes? Sounds like one sticky, greasy mess. Let's see if it gives me a buzz. What? Oh, bees. I got it. <laughs> I'm like, is this gonna get, oh, I did Grab not. Grab one. Grab one. We're gonna do this the right way. What are we doing the right way? Wait. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do a triple fry. I actually like that. Come on, you wanna try? Yeah, I do. Let's go. Do it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. Thanks. This is way better than cottage cheese. <laughs> 22, peanut butter and mayo. While I'm a peanut butter purist, I can see the reason behind dumping it in some noodles like we did earlier. Blending it with mayonnaise on the other hand, that is sheer culinary craziness that would give even Heston Blumenthal a meltdown. It's no surprise to hear that this unique sandwich was born during the Great Depression when folk filled their bellies however they could. Feedback has been surprisingly positive. After all, this thing is still eaten today. Apparently, you get the rich, peanutty taste of peanut butter with the delicious, eggy quality. Yeah, you heard that right. The stuff I do for this channel. Watch out, tummy, here it comes. I did not write that. All right, what do you have for us today? Well, <laughs> being some guy who cooks, I had to actually cook something. <laughs> so far, you haven't cooked much. So, never mind. <laughs> I just taste a peanut butter sandwich. I don't taste the well, mayonnaise much. Usually when I make them, I add a little more, more mayo than that, but yeah, you know, we didn't want to make a mess. That's true. With this one, have you ever had a griddled peanut butter and jelly? Yes. Fantastic, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping it's a similar story Cheers. here. Thank you. Oh, was there, your hands are sticky. <laughs> 21, cherry blossom chips. You can eat potato chips, you can eat flowers. Yes, really. Though you should do your research before trying that last one. But what if you put them together? The crunch of potato chips with the flavor of cherry blossom. Hmm. Or should that be? Huh. These are Lay's chips. Though if you're watching in the UK, they're better known as Walkers. They also create other weird flavors such as butternut squash soup. I think I'd prefer that to be honest. But hey, a unique food combination is a unique food combination. 
We couldn't find any that could arrive in time for the filming, but we didn't want to uh, leave you with nothing. So instead, today we went to a local Asian market and we found... Tristan picked them out. What'd you get for us, buddy? I found these. What are they? Oh. <laughs> these are chili lemon crab flavor. I'm sorry, does and that say hot? Yeah. Okay. Are you having one with me? No. This video is not sponsored by Pringles. Oh, I remember these. They, so their Pringles are a little different. I had the uh, sweet mayo cheese in when I was in Korea. Fantastic, by the way. Cool. Uh, but 10 out of 10. 20. Bacon and banana. This is one of the handful of combos I'd actually heard of before making this list. That's news to me. Doesn't make it any less peculiar, though. Mushy, mmm. Sweet banana and chewy salty bacon. Oh, if it was good enough for the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, then it's good enough for me. Still, he was known for hollowing out a whole loaf of bread before stuffing it with peanut butter jelly and, yeah, you guessed it, bacon. I'm guessing he wasn't the most discerning gourmet. Thank you very much. I hated that. <laughs> All right, let's get it in here. What? Yeah, it's bacon. In Put the it name. on the thingy. Oh, okay. You gotta get a nice close-up. God, it looks like a hot dog. Kinda. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's. I don't like this. <laughs> I can get down with that. I know how you feel. You okay there, buddy? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> you wanna put the rest on the plate here? Mm -hmm. There you go. I hate. I got mm, you. It's so mushy. 19. Blueberries and steak. Fruit and beef. I'm going to let those words sink in for a moment. Don't use blueberries in a pancake or a yummy smoothie. You're going to want them slapped on a prime piece of meat. Of course you are. How does this work exactly? Blueberries can apparently make a nice sauce to serve with your steak. Or, according to Danielle at the Creative Bite, you can whip up a salad dressing with blueberries and balsamic. What are we waiting for? Because... I'm not too sure. I want to eat this. What? I, what? No, get in here. What are you talking about? I want to eat this. I, I want to eat yeah, it too. Let's do it. Bring it. Okay. Steak. What medium we got here? rare. There's no way other. There's no other way to make a, ste a steak. You know, it's got to be medium rare. So, just a pro tip: uh, when you're making a reduction, especially with fruit, uh, don't reduce it quite as long as I did because it's more jam-like right now. I'm noticing this. It looks like we just took jelly out of a jar. All right. That's a lot of balsamic for it, but you know, let's let's give it. it a shot. All right. I'm gonna do it like a heathen. That's really good. Oh my god. If I'm I... more of a purist, but yeah, that's great. That's really good. I'm gonna do another. 18. Apples with salt and pepper. If you wanna give the humble apple a bit of a kick, then some recommend you break out the salt and pepper shaker. Website The Daily Meal makes the point that sweet foods contain salt anyway, so. Why not a salty, peppery, spicy dimension to your fruit? I prefer cinnamon on my apples, but hey, when in Rome, look like this pedestal, Roman. Exactly. Right, so what do we got here? Three types of apples. Three types we of apples. We got your standard Fujis. We got some uh, pink ladies, which if okay. you haven't had them, they kind of had them. They kind of taste like pink lemonade. Uh, no! <laughs> my green screen! <laughs> <laughs> my apples! And we've got some cosmic apples straight from space. Which, whoa! I've never had these, so I was... I Neither was, have I, I was, so I'm going to salt. Hi, guys. A hey. little salt on this piece. A mm -hmm. little salt on this, this piece. piece. Okay. And I'm you want to pick a piece? Salt. All right, I'll just I'll take this tiny one. Okay. Back. All right. A little salt on this piece. All right. Cool. With pepper. And next is the pepper, yeah. We'll, we'll get there. Be patient. All right. A little pep in your step. That's a lot of pepper. Right there, not with my green screen. We probably only need the one for this. Oh. Nope. I don't think it needed the salt. I don't think it needed the pepper. Oh, I like the pepper. You do? I like the pepper, I don't like the salt. I don't hate it. I don't know if I'm gonna go on my way for it. 17, watermelon and salt. In a similar vein, you can sprinkle salt on a juicy watermelon. I'm not so sure how this one's gonna fly. I mean, the taste of melon is pretty subtle. Won't the salt wipe all of that out? All right, watermelon, it's just you and me. Let's do this. 
and this shaker of salt. So, you, want, you know. You want to do the honors? Godspeed, my seedless friend. You have seeds. How much salt do you want? I, I don't know. That's like that level across evenly. Yeah. I'm going to place my bet that this water. Oh! I, I agree. Salt me a watermelon. I got a seed. There's Water. pieces. Oh, that was rind. No, that was all salt. Mm -hmm. I made it. I think it brings out the flavor. It tastes like salt water. I wish I had a seedless watermelon. I've had worse things, but... That's the only thing I want. 16. Banana and mayo sandwich. Major wrongness alert here. I could not agree more. Are people seriously suggesting that sweet, tasty bananas are going to be improved with bread and, if I'm hearing this right, mayonnaise? Yeah, probably. Actually, it's the bananas that are going to ruin this one for me. Thankfully, there are people with common sense who are calling out this so-called delicious snack. The lovers and the haters seem pretty evenly matched. Mr. Banana, meet Mr. Mayonnaise. Please just don't have a fight in my digestive system. Or as Brett so lovingly called it, Bananaise Sandwich. <laughs> I'm just going to do the whole thing. Come on it. I think you'll kill yourself. Ah, you probably. Die. One, two, three, Bananaise. Nope. Nope. I hate, I hate the texture so much. I like the mayonnaise a lot. 15. Ice cream and hot sauce. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And you'll keep screaming with ice cream and hot sauce in your mouth. <laughs> I would have thought. Uh, I could be out of line on this. People say the crazy combo works surprisingly well. Maybe the cool creaminess balances out the tongue burning flavor and vice versa. Well, there's only one way to find out. Experts recommend vanilla as the best flavor for beginners. I'm an idiot and I got us cookies and cream. Vanilla is too boring. So, thank you. So just in case, we decided Frank's Red Hot. We kind of, when we went to Walmart today, I put that stuff on everything. <laughs> I asked Brett, when you think of the word hot sauce, what comes to mind first? Because they had a lot there. And this is what he said. So we went with it. Oh, God. Now you're just mashing the... <laughs> That's probably enough. It's all good. It's not coming out. I'm yeah. just going to... So, Ready? Yeah, cheers. Mm -mm. I wouldn't have picked Frank's. It's not bad. I would have gone with a different one. 14. Bacon and chocolate. Is there any problem that can't be solved with a few rashers of gorgeous crispy bacon? Crispy bacon, woo! <laughs> Taking it back. Well, you can't clean your windows with it and it's crispy, so bleh. Floppy bacon is where it's at. But that's a whole nother story. Another thing you can't do is drizzle chocolate on it. That's my initial reaction to our next unique food combination. No, it's not, sounds delicious. The website A Taste of Home begs to differ, as do I. They claim that this combo goes down well at American State Fairs. If you look at pictures, it kind of looks like a regular sweet treat. One with a tangy, meaty surprise. Is bacon tangy? Part kebab, part cocoa solids. Hopefully it won't start a civil war in my colon. What? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold it. Okay. Two things. Needs to be floppy. I don't like crispy. So I'm sad. I I don't like this. I wish this were a better chocolate. 13. Ice cream with fries. Staying on a digestive theme. What? Whoa! Did a bird just do its business on my fries? Oh, that I don't have right here? Thank you for bringing that up before we eat. But no, sir. It's actually scoops of ice cream left to go gooey atop a stack of crispy potatoes. It's not how we're doing this, but it's not how it was written. Won't that creamy mixture make the fries too soggy? Should I add chocolate syrup and nuts for extra fun? It's like pouring your milkshake on your fries. There we go. Uh, not looking forward to this one. Well, yes, I am. The writer and I need to get on the same page here. Anyway, so... This one's not weird. If you've ever been to Wendy's and had a frosty with fries, fries and, fr water. fries and ice cream, perfect. Absolutely. 12. Chocolate and beetroot. Chocolate and beetroot go together? 
Yes, indeed. Oh, whoever wrote this has a different everything than me. And what's more, they go together in a cake. Oh. British TV chef Jamie Oliver wants us to know just how epic this unique flavor combination can be. Plus, there's a dual purpose behind the masticating madness. You can craftily feed veggies to your kids disguised as a luscious cake. Though it's also a delicious recipe in its own right. Allegedly. Uh, Mr. Oliver, you can expect a call from my lawyers if this goes wrong. When this goes wrong. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't realize it was supposed to be a cake. But what? We're... It's supposed to be a cake? Apparently it's supposed to be a cake. But I we're... know I said that. Oh, we're just having We're going to have beets like orange slices dipped in chocolate. I mean, I what? like beets. It was supposed to be a cake this whole time? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm just going a little bit of chocolate on this one, and I'm... Ready? Yep, here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, beat. Ow! <laughs> um, yeah, so it goes well with the chocolate. <laughs> it tastes like dirt. Oh, there's the dirt bite. Are we supposed to wash these? Probably. <laughs> Eleven. Chocolate and cheese pizza. I really don't know how to feel right now. Loading up a pizza base with melted chocolate is a culinary curveball for sure. What do you give me for toppings? Marshmallows? Chopped up Snickers bar? Oh, okay, we're, we're putting cheese on top. God, my mouth is not watering, I have to say. It looks like they burnt the pizza in the oven, but I can never say no to pizza no matter what's on it, so let's give this a try. We definitely didn't burn this one. We did not burn this in the oven. Put it down. We, Mike, do you want to just get it over with? All right, ready? Mainly because you're not freaking turtles. <laughs> hey. Three, two, I'm smelling it for, oh, it smells like burnt chocolate. Yep. One. I don't think I like it. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. 10, tuna and banana. Are we seriously going there? Tender, flaky, oily tuna fish alongside a sweet, ripe banana. The public are divided on whether it's a great idea. Are they? Or something that must never be spoken of again. Going by Reddit users, you should probably make the banana taste as savory as possible before adding it to the tuna or in a sandwich. Did we do that? Or salad? That defeats the whole object of a crazy but tasty combo, but it's probably the way I'd go. It's not. Something smells fishy and fruity. There's no fruit in this, but I will say the, the tuna <laughs> was not as tender and flaky as you suspected when I got it out of the can, and quite frankly, it was hard. There's no fruit in there. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's right, there's bananas. Yes, there is! <laughs> it's a berry. It's still a fruit. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm... Um. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. You actually have a bite in your mouth? Yes. Oh. Oh, because oh, I've had durian and this might be the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Ugh. Nine, mustard Oreos. You can improve the flavor of a chocolate cream cookie like Oreos by reaching for a jar of, wait, mustard? There's actually a funny story behind this. The idea of Oreos plus mustard made headlines through its inclusion in a crossword clue for USA Today. What's the very last thing you'd think of cookie-wise to slather in the hot stuff? Oreos. Readers uh, weren't too pleased to find out the answer and they were even less pleased when they decided to give this bizarre combo a whirl. It proved so unpopular that folks assumed it was a made up thing. Eventually the story was traced to an actual incident in the 1970s when a mischievous writer tricked a sailor into consuming Oreos with mustard. And now I'm gonna try it, so. Sorry, did you? It's, it's an improvement from did, the last one. Did I don't you say care. we're going for a walk in the park? We're going for a walk in the park. Oh, here, you're doing more than I am, but you're, I don't know, I think mine's prettier. Yours is prettier. Mine looks like a flower. Here. How is it? Do anything. Wait. Give it a second. This it just got awful. Oh, the cream is mixing with the mustard now. <laughs> there it is! 
Oh, it wasn't so bad when it was a chocolate. The tuna's still worse. <laughs> Eight, strawberry pizza. Nothing beats the taste of melted cheese, tomato sauce, freshly raised dough, and strawberries? Pineapple has always been a controversial topping for a pizza, and the conversation has now been opened out to include other fruits. Enough people enjoy it for this to have become a thing, so I'm gonna have to take a slice and discover the so-called taste sensation for myself. Now, you probably won't find this at Papa John's. But... Some guy who cooks will bring it right to your door. Wow, that's a promise. That's so creepy. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It's not. It's not, it's not a dessert pizza. Again, worst Ninja Turtles ever. Oh, oh. Honestly, they taste like tomatoes. Yeah. No, this tastes like. I don't taste the strawberry at all. Sweetness went away completely. It's gone. Yeah. Could be. This... From, could be from the microwave. But. <laughs> they taste like tomatoes. Yeah. I don't. This is just pizza. Seven. Gummy Bear Bratwurst. This sausage looks mighty tempting. Thanks. I especially like how they put all those little bits of pepper in there to add spice. What's that? They're not peppers? What are they then? They're what? Yes, this is the fine art of inserting gummy bears into a meaty mixture. <laughs> in the name of all that is holy, make it stop. Certain butcher shops bill this sausage as handcrafted. Yeah, this, as opposed to using a machine designed to stuff chewy little bears in your bratwurst. This abomination was born in the USA, which I guess is not a big surprise. It's also been in the public consciousness since 2008. The good news is that reportedly the gummy bears melt away into nothing. Uh, the bad news is that they leave their taste behind. So. Yeah, they kind of popped out of there while it was cooking. Do we have plates? Did you get some gummy? This is not good. Six, Pepsi and milk. Pepsi sometimes gets a bad rap from customers who prefer Coca-Cola. Is Pepsi okay? However, in this case, that rap is deserved because some crazy people like to mix it with milk. What do we call this unique combo? What else? Pilk. Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? I just have to hope it doesn't roll right out of my stomach. Well, I'm excited. But the milk is nice and cold. I'm gonna do that much milk and that's okay, it. How okay. you doing? More Pepsi. I'm sad. I think more Pepsi. I I think I think yeah, it's it's a lot like a it's a lot like a uh, float. I don't like it warm at all. Five, spaghetti and yogurt. Will Ferrell mixing chocolate and candy in his spaghetti for that classic scene in Elf was hilarious and shocking. On a related topic, I've been assigned the task of consuming pasta with yogurt. Now, how bad could this be? After all, I enjoy a creamy carbonara. And it's not like I'm putting Oikos strawberry yogurt in there or anything. No, I stick that on my pizza. All joking aside, I have to admit that I'm bracing myself for this food combination that's probably a little too out there. In fact, I may not have much to worry about. If you check out this recipe from Yumna at Feel Good Foodie, you'll see it's a yogurt-based sauce that's popular in Lebanon. So, yeah. We're not just gonna eat it right out of the pot? Well, that's okay. for you. Oh, that's for me. Ready? Yup. Ready, Scotty. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It works. This isn't bad. No. This is good. This no, of course fine. it's good. Yeah, it's great. I'm okay with this. Yeah. I'm not going to eat the whole thing because there's still four things left, but... No, I wouldn't be angry at this, though. Not at all. Four. Cheetos and milk. Flamin' Hot Cheetos washed down with a glass of milk? I mean, that sounds fine. But actually, here I'm talking about purposely blending the cheesy snack and what comes out of a cow's udder as part of a bizarre taste experiment. YouTuber Peter Kong went all out to sample this unique delicacy pouring his Cheetos into a bowl and eating them like cereal. He even had his baby on the table to witness the sight of daddy possibly going to the emergency room. The verdict was nonplussed rather than anything extreme. Uh, the fact that he didn't throw up is a bonus. So, my turn, I guess. All right, let's well, do let it. Me know. I like my cereal nice and milky, so there we go, yep. Oh no. It's not that bad. I don't like that. 
I don't like that at all. And I like mac and Cheetos. I don't like this. Three, butter and sugar sandwich. Part sandwich, part dessert. This supposed treat can be made from simple ingredients right from your cupboard. Whether these ingredients should go together in the first place remains to be seen. Bread, good. Butter, even better. Sugar, now well, the sandy texture would work against the bread, right? And the sweet taste surely won't help matters. Uh, if I don't make it out, tell my girlfriend I love her. I, I'm, I'm excited about this one, actually. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah. That's nice. You know, it reminded me, I used to, growing up, love, like, the Eggo waffles, mm -hmm. just covered with butter and cinnamon sugar. And it was fantastic. And this is not really all that different. Two. Cereal with cheese. We just saw Cheetos get chomped up with some milk, unfortunately. Well, time to go to the next level with literal cheese added to Frosties, or as we call them here in the United States, Frosted Flakes. Mind you, I should mention that this is processed cheese. Not everyone describes that as cheese, of course. Can this be described as food? Well, I'm sticking it in my mouth to find out. I got it. Oh, you got a big piece of cheese. I don't hate this. I don't like it. <laughs> but I don't hate it. I like the Frosted Flakes, and then I just happen to get cheese. I'm out of cheese. One, Cinnamon Roll Burger. The rise in popularity for brioche buns is no surprise. Shove a burger in there, and you have a delicious buttery treat. It tastes a little sweet, but it makes a nice compliment to the succulent beef and tangy relish inside. Now, I just found out the sweetness factor can be ramped up to 11 by using a, wait for it, cinnamon roll instead. It's happened, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Maybe you like this idea, and maybe you don't. Luckily for you, your human lab rat is here to sample the offbeat combo. Please describe it in excruciating detail. <laughs> It is my masterpiece. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! This is 25 different items we have had. And some this has duck great, fat in it too. Some awful. And I wish I could have enjoyed this more. But at least we ended on a really good note. We did. You got this. Before I give the outro, I just want to thank you guys. Whatever, I don't care. My hand's a mess too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for me. <laughs> Give everyone where they can find you, social medias, your YouTube channel, everything like that. Uh, just type in some guy who cooks, not some guy that cooks, you heathen. It's some guy who cooks. Yes, I was a journalism major. But anyway, yeah, I'm on YouTube. I am on Instagram. I hardly use it, uh, but I am on TikTok. So get me while you can. Uh, and Tristan, as always, thank you so much. I'm sure everyone here missed having you. How'd you like being back? It was nice being back, and we're in my, my studio. And we couldn't have done it without your studio, so I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, where can everyone find you? Uh, Tristan Frower on YouTube. I make short films, uh, but pretty much people only know me for that one video I did with Drake Bell. That's true. Adding that laugh track to his guilty plea. And, and, and the classic G. Uh, you can check out my photography at Chasing Shadows Gainesville on Instagram or just T Frower on Instagram. Really been getting into photography. Anyways, this intro is like, uh, this outro is forever. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. So, are there any other wild, wacky, and unique food combinations we need to hear about? Would you try any of these? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And you know what? If you liked this list, at least one of us did, you're gonna wanna check out my rundown of 25 foods Americans love that non-Americans think are disgusting. Stuff like corn dogs and ice. Why is ice disgusting? Well, I'll explain everything in the video, which you'll find right here. No. No? No, go no. away. Hey, why couldn't I do that right list? Right in front of Brett's face. Why, why couldn't I do that list? <sighs> so thank you guys for joining me. And uh, this was this was a list. Please don't request any more like this.